My name is Sean. I'm from Singapore, representing Nanyang Army School. Ziran and I participated in this year's RoboCup Singapore Open Injury. Hi, my name is Ziran. We are both from our school's robotics club, and I will be presenting to you the first part of this video, and Sean will be presenting to you after me. This game is a race against time. Our objective is to get as many objects as possible before the timer ends. Picking up objects, depositing of them, and avoiding obstacles and traps takes time, so we wanted to complete these tasks only when necessary and as efficiently as possible. To save time, we decided to collect as many objects as possible from the special blue zone because we can get double the points from the same as for the same amount of time spent collecting and enter the trap when it does not have any items at all. We encountered other problems like the ro robot going too fast to pick up black objects and entering the trap when it ha has items or it does not avoid or not avoiding an obstacle. We tried to diff do different wheel speed settings so to find out what speed allows the ro robot to collect items and avoid traps without wasting too much time traveling. With these methods, we got a higher score, higher score than earlier. The conclusion is to break the problem into smaller parts, parts to so solve and keep trying. The, our objective is to get as many objects as possible before the timer ends, picking up objects and depositing them. And avoiding, obst and avoiding obstacles and traps take away take time, so we decided wanted to complete these tasks only when necessary, and as efficiently as possible. The challenge tasks can be broken down into many many tasks to save time. For example, we decided to allow the robot to go through the trap if it's not carrying any objects, as there will be nothing to lose, and this will save time. We made the robot collect as many objects as possible before depositing. So it'll save time and get more points each time it deposits. When say we're ready to deposit, we make the robot turn into the depositing zone if either one of the sensors detect orange so that it can deposit as quick as possible. We made the robot stay in the blue zone for longer because it gets the same points from collecting one item in the blue zone as collecting two items in other zones. Also made the robot move faster when it is fully loaded so that it can it can shorten the time taken to find the depositing zone. AI implementation. We will allow we allow the robot to go through the trap if it is not carrying any items. The advantage to this is the robot does not need to detour around the trap, and it gains access to collection zones on the other side of the trap. The pseudo code for this is loaded objects higher than zero, and it will turn away. This causes the robot to turn away from the trap only if the loaded objects is higher than zero. AI and implementation two and three. AI two collecting as many objects as possible. AI three is turning into depositing zone. The method we used is when for the method we use for two and three is when the robot has capacity for more objects, it, it ignores the depositing zone. When the robot is fully loaded, it should turn into the depositing zone once either sensors detect orange. The pseudo code for, for two entry is if loaded objects equal zero, and th this, this allows it to turn left when the, uh, when the left sensors detect orange or turn right and deposit when the right sensors detect orange. AI and implementation for staying in the blue zone. 
The method we used is if the robot has capacity for more objects, the robot will stay in the blue zone longer by turning back into the blue zone when one sensor detects blue. The advantage to this is that it will earn double the points col collector inside the blue zone than inside, than inside the regular zone. The pseudocode we used is loaded ob objects lower than six. It will, turn it will turn left and when only the left sensor detects blue or turn right when only the right sensor detects blue. I find. I program the robot to use the purple line to find the deposit zone. Method. If the robot detects the purple line when it is fully loaded, it should rotate to face southwest. This will help it point towards the closest deposit zone and if it successfully reaches the deposit zone, it can unload and earn more points more quickly. When loaded objects equal 6 and the robot is facing northeast or northwest based on its compass reading, detecting the purple zone should make the robot rotate towards the southwest. Debugging. We use the first step process to debug and improve our program. One example of debugging is how we debug the code to make the robot detect smaller objects. Step 1. Code. We program the robot to collect red, black, and cyan items when it detected those colors. Step 2. Test. The problem we saw that the robot always picked up red objects which were larger, but missed some cyan objects and missed all the black objects which were the smallest. Step 3. Check. We check to see if the RGB sensor ranges for red, black, and cyan objects were correct. Also check if the wheel speeds were too high. It was set at 80 at first, and this could have been too high. Step 4. Fix. We reduced the wheel speeds to 40 and tested the code again. Outcome. At the reduced speed, the robot was able to detect and pick up all three types of objects. Another debugging example was avoiding traps. Step 1. Code. We programmed the robot to turn away from the trap when any of its RGB sensors detected yellow. Step 2. Test. The first time we tested this, the robot continued moving into the trap even when the left sensor detected yellow. Step 3. Check. We looked at the code for wheel speed when the RGB sensors were in a yellow zone. We had missed out a minor sign in the wheel speed that would make the robot change direction. Step 4. Fix. We added a minor sign to the right wheel speed, changing it to minus 40 when the robot detected yellow. Outcome. When the robot's left RGB sensor went over the trap, the robot rotated towards the right and moved away from the trap. In conclusion, we had good results from using the five AI. AI1, going through the trap, help the robot save time by not having to go around the trap and also allowed it to get to new areas easily. AI2 and 3, collect as many objects as possible and turn into deposit area. The robot saved time by depositing only when it was fully loaded. AI4. Stay in special blue zone. The robot gained double the points for what it collected and our points increased faster for the same amount of time it spent collecting objects. AI5. Use purple line to find deposit zone. This helped point the robot towards the deposit zone so it could get to the zone faster. If we had to solve the same challenge again, we would try to use the green and grey lines to direct the robot to the deposit zone or special blue zone. But we will also try to make the robot create more super and super plus objects by collecting the, co by collecting the color objects in the right combinations. From this competition, we learn to try every method possible and keep working to improve our basic code. We also learn that small changes made to the code can make a big difference. Finally, I learned to pay attention to the rules and read instructions. It is important 
to be determined and never give up. Thank you for watching.